BMC Software helps customers run and reinvent their businesses with open, scalable and modular solutions to complex IT problems. The company, which serves nearly 90% of the Forbes Global 50, harbors a unique vision for how corporates will evolve in their use of technology going forward. We caught up with BMC Software's President and CEO, Ayman Sayyad to decode its global strategy to accelerate business growth and the pivotal role that India is expected to play in that equation. Ivan, thanks so much for taking the time to speak with us. And while we are, of course, familiar with BMC, for the benefit of our viewers, walk us through what the company does, the markets in which it operates, the geographies in which it's built a presence, and the type of customers that you serve. BMC is a global supplier of enterprise software we cater to over 86% of the global 50 list. We operate in over 23 countries and we have presence and operations around the world. We supply software and solutions in areas of automation, of operation and service management. And I imagine this is the tip of the iceberg for the company and brighter and bigger days lie ahead. Absolutely, we live in interesting times where technology is playing an ever-increasing role in how businesses operate and how they differentiate themselves and thrive. And we certainly live in interesting time where changes in the geopolitical landscape, conflicts around the world, economic crisis with high inflation and high interest rates, not to mention three years of pandemic, are all headwinds that face every business. Good news is technology holds the keys for how businesses can navigate through these challenges and continue to drive growth, improving their top line and bottom line. Well, sir, you're obviously familiar that it's an unprecedented time in human history, wherein technology is having a deeply transformative impact on all aspects of life imaginable, right? So in an environment like that, how at BMC do you keep pace with the pace of change? At BMC, we've been on an aggressive transformation journey for the last three years. We invested heavily into innovation, and we started with the concept and framework of an autonomous digital enterprise. It's our vision for how businesses from different industry verticals evolve how they use technology, how they adapt to a new operational model by applying new technologies such as AI, how they harvest the benefit and value of data. At the heart of the autonomous digital enterprise, or ADE as we call it, are basic business principles such as customer centricity, business agility, and harvesting of data and turning it into actionable insights. Businesses that master the use of technology and can become autonomous digital enterprise increase both their top line and bottom line and win again as their competitive pack. With cutting edge technologies like big data, artificial intelligence, machine learning, so on and so forth, making headlines, what's your comment on some of the most recent advances in the space? Have any of them perhaps taken you by surprise? Pooja, we live in interesting time. Technologies such as AI, machine learning, computer vision, predictive analytics, holds a pr the promise to transform our life in every facet. There hasn't been a disruption like that since the Industrial Revolution and then the advent of the Internet. We all know how that changed our lives, creation of cities and moving from agrarian society into an industrial world, and then with the Internet changing how we work, live, and play, driving go globalization, enabling the business as we experience it today. Sure. AI, data, and machine learning hold similar promise. 
we are barely scratching the surface into huge and phenomenal impact. We will feel it in every aspect of our lives and of our business. At BMC, we've been busy preparing to help our customer go through this transformation. We invested heavily into embedding technologies like AI and the use and benefit of data into all of our products, all with the goal of enabling our customers and empowering them to use this technology to drive their business growth. Phenomenal. And you know, I mean, I have to ask you this. It's been said that only a fraction of data that's actually available to enterprises is put to use. And the rest is left untapped entirely. You know, many times to the company's detriment. So I'd love your understanding of how at BMC you leverage data to deliver superior business outcomes and actionable business insights. It's been said, and rightly so, that data is the lifeblood of every modern business. We continue to generate a ton of data, data that's both huge in sheer volume and diverse in its format and contents, structured data, unstructured data. The challenge, though, is most businesses have barely began to scratch the surface into tapping to the value of this data. Right. It starts with understanding the value of this data and the promise it holds, what needs to be secured, what can offer a competitive advantage, right. what can be monetized. Mm -hmm. So at BMC, we've been busy partnering with our customers mm -hmm. and providing them solutions that enable them to tap into the power of this data and turning it into actionable insights. Mm -hmm. This is what separates legacy brick and mortar business from born in the web, born in the cloud, modern businesses that disrupted their respective industries. Phenomenal. And, you know, Ivan, earlier in the conversation, you referenced a competitive advantage. And given the economic uncertainty that surrounds us and the geopolitical volatility around us, what's the key to maintaining that competitive advantage as a company and as a brand? And what role will the India market perhaps play in maintaining that competitive advantage? India is in a very unique place. It's certainly the world's largest democracy, with a stable government, and a pro-business mindset that is driving a lot of economic growth. In these turbulent times and ever-changing geopolitical landscape, India is in a unique position to benefit from this. At BMC, we're certainly invested in India. We've been investing and growing both in running our operations here, as well as working with many of the leading businesses and industries in helping them with our software solutions. Mm -hmm. All right. And so you've touched on some of the challenges that we've faced globally. Uh, do you believe the worst is behind us? And what are some of the challenges that perhaps continue to loom large in this space that one needs to be mindful of? I am an optimist, and I believe brighter days are ahead of us. As business leaders, we should all be thinking about the wave of growth at the end of the current situation mm -hmm. and how we all prepare ourselves to thrive and ride that wave of growth to differentiate ourselves and to grow our businesses. Technology is the way to do it, and modern technologies and new patterns such as AI, data, and the ability to leverage it for business growth are very exciting. All right, Ivan, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us, and we wish you and the larger team here at BMC all the continued success. Thank you, Pooja. We're going to slip into a short break, but on the other side, our continued televised feature, BMC Software, paving the path to tech innovation, continues. So stay with us. We also had an engaging conversation with Sakar Anand, VP and India Head at BMC, who mapped out for us how customers can fully optimize their business operations by exploiting valuable data with automation and intelligence to be successful in today's world. Sakai, thanks so much for taking the time to speak with us. And by way of some background, you know, India has always been branded as the world's back office. In your view, is that perception gradually beginning to change? What's your take? Certainly. We are witness to an era where India, as a nation, is redefining what technology can do. We're exploring new horizons. 
I would doubt if there is any Fortune 500 company in the world which does not have a large operations in India today. So India was always a destination for technology, but now more than ever. And let me tell you why that's happening. Look at India from a socioeconomic perspective, very stable. From a geopolitical angle, India is very stable. We graduate more engineers than anywhere else in the world every year. So gone are the days when people were investing in India for cost arbitrage. Now people are coming to India for talent. Right. And all these companies which have large operations in India are slowly moving global roads to India. So that's the reason why I say India has moved from a back office to a headquarters east. Well, Sakar, I've got a follow-up question for you there. You know, to what extent do your India operations here at BMC ultimately help influence global technology investment decisions for the company? I would say to a very large extent. BMC India is a microcosm to global BMC. For an enterprise software vendor like us, we have product development here. We have BMC on BMC, which is our own IT operations, which uses our own products. Sure. We've got professional services here, and we've got sales here. Now, with these functions sitting under one roof figuratively, the opportunity for collaboration that we have in India doesn't exist anywhere else for BMC. Now, combine it with the access to the customers. Right. I talked about Fortune 500 companies having large operations in India. Most of them are our customers. And the user base, the personas which use our products, they sit right here in India. Right. So there's so much opportunity for us to take our engineers, our product managers, our product designers, to sit with these users, show them the capability of our products in their environment, and make them get the most out of our products so that their customers can become successful. Sure. This co-innovation with the customer is the incubation ground for any technology company for the innovation that they need. Sakar, when we were speaking to Ayman earlier today, he mentioned the autonomous digital enterprise. How does this concept of ADE make your India-based customers successful? So let me, let me characterize ADE in simple words. In today's world, we generate plethora of data. Converting this data into meaningful information, identify trends out of it, sure. and using those trends to make decisions, implementing those decisions in an automated manner with the highest level of cybersecurity is what is required to create a transcendent customer experience. To me, that is ADE. And we do this for our customers. We make our customers ADE so that they can provide a transcendent experience to their customers. Right. And what we do through ADE is industry agnostic. Talk about the largest banks in India. Talk about the largest retailer in India. Talk about telco providers. They all use BMC products. The beauty of our products is that they're region agnostic. Anybody who uses our products, whether they're in Asia, they're in Europe, they're in North America, they use it the same way. They use it for the same purpose of making their customers successful. Sure. So that's ADE for us, and we make global products out of India. I see the global command center right behind you. I can't help but notice it. And I understand that it makes for the backbone of IT operations here at BMC. Tell us more. So you rightly said, this global command center is the backbone for, of IT operations for BMC globally. Our IT operations would something be about 65,000 R&D servers, 4,000 production servers, 4,000 telephony network devices, and 130,000 containers. In this command center, two engineers in a shift use 400 automation workflows which are based on our own BMC products and manage a shift. Think about it. Can there be a bigger litmus test than this for BMC to show to other customers? Right. We bring them here. Whenever we have an experience briefing for a customer, we start in the boardroom, mm -hmm. and then we bring them here. Mm -hmm. Originally, we set up about an hour for the command center, but I have never seen a customer briefing where a customer does not take four hours in the command center. Mm -hmm. We get them in there, they have questions, we answer them, they have questions, we answer them. We literally have to pull them out of the command center for a lunch or a coffee. This is the attraction for any customer in BMC. So, Sakar, as a seasoned executive in this space, you know what are the technology trends that are on the horizon, and how with BMC do you attempt to stay a step ahead of those trends? So it would be a miss on my part if you talk about future trends and I don't talk about generative AI. Right now, this is a technology which is still being explored. People are still trying to see what it can do for us in the future. But what I want to tell you is that 
even before generative AI or LLM or GPT was a big thing, PMC was investing in it. They've been working on this technology for the last two years. And come today, in the most recent Forrester wave, BMC was by far the leading vendor in process centering AI ops space. Sure. So this is what even is a testimony to the fact that we don't play a catch-up game. We set trends in the industry. Phenomenal to hear that. And we've had the good fortune of spending some time here at BMC India this morning. And I'd love your take on the extent to which, if we were to speak to a member of your team, a member of the BMC India staff, how might they characterize the company's corporate culture? I would say an employee would describe our corporate culture in one word. That's learning. We live in a world where things around us are changing faster. And if we don't keep pace with this change, we stay where we are. And today, staying where we are is actually regression. The only way to progress is to learn. In BMC, we build a culture of constant learning. We give our employees a chance to pick up technologies that would shape the future. And we not only make them learn technologies, we give them on-the-job opportunities to deploy that learning. Sure. Because the learning not put to use is theoretical knowledge. And our learning just doesn't stop internally within BMC. We give learning to the society. Our corporate social responsibility programs, they focus on giving learning to the underprivileged uh, in Pune. So we partner with Leela Punawala Foundation. We sponsor 12 girls every year for the engineering education. We have partnered with Robotex to sponsor the STEM labs. In fact, tomorrow, we're inaugurating the second STEM lab. So I would say that learning is the foundation of anything that we do at BMC. Let's know more about BMC Software's corporate culture from its employees. I've been here for close to 12 years. And through these 12 years, I joined BMC as an intern, um, as an intern writer and I've grown over the years and today I'm the director for one of the teams here and I lead a group of more than 30 people now. So over the years, I think the two main things that have kept me rooted to BMC is one is the learning culture and the second one is its people practices. Along with that, I think um, there are a lot of opportunities that are given out to people irrespective of which stage they are in, right? So, for example, along with my current role, I also lead the WITB uh, India chapter, that's the Women in Technology and Business. So that's something that's, you know, beyond my day-to-day -day work. Um, training and learning development is something that the company pays a lot of attention to. Throughout the years, I think I've spent a lot of time learning, training, whether it was, you know, honing my skills as a writer initially, or now, you know, making myself as a better leader. I mean, we've constantly been getting enough opportunities to make ourselves better. And that, again, has nothing to do with, you know, which level you're at and things like that. So this is something I've seen throughout my career. And that's one thing that keeps me, you know, in place here. BMC gives multiple opportunities to us to uh, upskill ourselves on both the personal and the professional front uh, through the Grow at BMC program. Uh, we can also upskill ourselves via the higher education program where we, ca we can get master's certificate in the upcoming and the latest technology domains. So yes, and also, also we get an opportunity to get mentored ourselves through the various leaders that are uh, in BMC. So, uh, so what has kept me rooted is the kind of work that I get to know, uh, get to do here at BMC. Uh, by interacting with the different leaders at India as well as globally, and also uh, interacting with the various universities that uh, I am associated with via, as part of the University Alliance program, where we hire interns uh, for BMC. And the, uh, the, these are few of the things that has kept me rooted uh, while coming to work and at BMC. So BMC has a culture of um, focusing deeply on technology uh, and continuous learning for all of us. Um, we always raise the bar of uh, how much we learn, how much we adopt new technology in our uh, everyday work. Um, it also has a fo uh, deep focus on customers. And what's striking here is um, a strong focus on people. So that, ha that is what has kept me here for so long. Well, that brings our special televised feature, BMC Software, 
paving the path to tech innovation to a close. I'm Pooja Jain signing off from BMC India's headquarters in Pune. Thanks for watching.